the SAS video on creating new variables in SAS. We're going to get started here. We're going to use the Cycler CPK data set that we've been using before. If you haven't downloaded it, it's in the repository in the link below. And there's other videos that will show you how to read data into SAS. I would suggest you go back and look at those. We're going to jump right in here and we're going to look at the Cycler data first so we have a basic understanding of it. We have subject, age, gender, treatment, and then we have four measurements of CPK. Now, let's suppose that we actually want to calculate the average of these. I'm going to show you a simple way to do that where we get an additional column over here and we create a new variable with an additional column that actually has the average in it. So this is going to be quite simple. We're going to use what we've been using up to now, which is data. Uh, we're going to call it something new, cycler. Let's call it one because it's the second one. Uh, set will come from our cycler data. That's what we wanted. And then what we're going to make is CPK average. Okay, This is going to be the average of CPK. And in order to do this, I'm going to need to use some basic mathematical operations. So I'm going to take CPK1 plus CPK2 plus CPK3 plus CPK4, and since it's an average, I'm just going to divide this by 4 and hit a semicolon, and then I can run this and see what this actually produces. Make sure that it's producing what I think it's going to produce. So I'm going to run this, and then I'll look at this new data set. So it's created a new data set over here in our work directory. I open it up, and notice there is a column here that CPK average, which is the sum of these, divided by 4. So this gives us a way to create a new column based off of the old columns. Now, if I wanted to create another column, let's say we had, uh, that just has a constant value in it, we could do something simple like, uh, let's say that the site that they used, in this case, maybe they were di different sites uh, for different data sets, we could put the variable site in here. And I just made it one right now. And I've ran this again. And now I have another column over here, site. So you can see I'm creating new variables and new columns in my data set. Now, another thing that I might want to do is create an if-then case. Okay, so if there's a certain case, then do some computation. So, for example, I could do if, I'm going to take CPK1 is, let's say, greater than 500, then I can create a new variable here, then... I'm going to create a new variable, cpk1 flag equals 1, okay, and then else cpk1 flag equals 0. Now let's see what this does. I run it, look at the log, make sure everything looks good, doesn't seem to be a problem. Back here, look at our data set, and now we have... Uh, another variable here, CPK1 flag, and you can notice it has ones and zeros, and if it was greater than 500, it got a one, and if it was less than 500, it got a zero over here. So this allows us to use logic to create new variables, so we can use this if, then, else, and it allows us to create these variables uh, just like we want them to, uh, so that we can use the columns that we have to create new columns that become more informative. Now, uh, most of the mathematical operators that you're used to work just fine in SAS, except for exponentiation. So I'm going to do this really quick because exponentiation is a little bit different. Now, let's suppose I want to know the age squared. Suppose I'm going to fit a polynomial model in this, and I'm going to need the variable age squared. So I'm going to do age double star 2. And this should create another column here that should have the age squared. So we open it up. And you can see we now have a column here, age 2, which is the age squared. So 19 squared is 361 and so on. It gives us the ability to create these new variables for us. Uh, so just keep that in mind that we can use this to our advantage to make things work together. All right. So now we know how to create some new variables. Uh, we can move on to the next video.